four, three, two, one. Follow me at Twitch TV <laughs> backslash <Shoku TV. laughs> So I, I'm joined here with a lot of people from our Rainbow Six A and B teams. So I'm going to throw this to you guys right off the bat. So can you all introduce yourselves at the exact same time? Ah, uh, you know, no, 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 my name right, wait, is when? Hey, what's going on? Hey, I'm Yoko. 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 Starting with you, Spano. All right, I'm Sebastian. I'm in hum I'm in Humber for electronics engineering technology, and my name is Spano in game. And yeah, I'm the best player on the team. He sucks. Cool. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Yoko. I'm the uh, captain of the R6B team. I'm currently at Humber for videography and broadcast television, and I like bueno bars. Uh, I'm Stool in XD. Uh, I dropped out of school. Like, <laughs> hey man, all right man. Uh, no, uh, beginning of second semester, and I was um, the best. I was the best player on the B team. We can skip me. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm F80 squad uh, in game, and my new name is Jason, and I'm I'm in Hubbard for electrical engineering control systems. And I always play Cav when I was not needed, baby. You already know. <laughs> Cav main, baby. Cav main, right here. Uh, I'm Connor. I'm the assistant coach for the Humber R6, and I'm at Humber for computer engineering. All right. So for the first question, I'm going to throw it over to you, Sherlock, or Connor. So how did you get into your position as the assistant coach? And would you be able to give us any insights into the conception of the teams? Um... Well, what happened was uh, at the game fair when everyone, every team was looking for new players here, Edmund uh, called out to me and was like, yo, do you want to try out for a staff position? And I'm like, sure, I'll, uh, I guess I'll try out for assistant coach. And obviously I got it. So <laughs> that's how I got into it. Um, and yeah, what was the second question as well? Uh, just any insights into the conception of the R6 teams? Well, can you give me a, that in English, please? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so who were who were like the main people that kind of started the R six branch here? Oh, okay. So, um, I'm uh, new at Humber, so I wasn't here for the start of it. But um, from what I know, Edmund and one of his other friends started it. His other friend isn't here anymore, but um. You know, I mean, it sounds like he died, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. He died. I don't know, dude. He, he, like, hangs out a lot. I've never talked to him before, though. So, yeah, it's just Edmund was looking for an R6 team, and he formed a team last year and wanted a team this year, and we had enough people that we could have done uh, both A and B teams. All right, so I'm going to throw this one to the players. Uh, you know, free floor. So how did you guys get into Rainbow Six slash the R6 team. So, like, when we started playing R6 and, like, how we joined? Yeah. Uh, I started off on console. I played, like, when it was still in alpha. And then uh, recently built a PC, like, four years ago. And then I went to Humber. At the game fair, I was like, oh, there's some cool games. I looked over, I'm like, oh, League and stuff. I'm like, I don't play any of that. And I was like, yo, Rainbow? They have a Rainbow team? I'm pretty decent. Let me let me try and play. So I played for fun there, and I first Edmund, and I f a couple of times, not gonna cap. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I did tryouts and got on this team. Yeah, well, I'm like F80. I played on console when the game first came out. It was kind of trash back then. Like, it was really bad. <laughs> and then I, I think I came to PC when it was like a Velvet Shell, like Jackal and Mirror that time. And then I just stuck with it. And... I joined like halfway through this season, and I just like I was like ah, I'm decent at Rainbow. Let me try for the team. I just tried and I made it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll go next. I started with CS, so I didn't actually start on console. I started just straight PC on a little uh, old dinky computer I had, uh, and then I started upgrading. 
I played Siege when it first came out. Um, I played through Project Health, and I stopped for a year and a half. And then I came back to it and saw that they're doing the R6 at the game first, as same as a Fady. Talked to Edmund a little bit, went for tryouts, and I guess here I am. So, so I... <clears throat> Same with Yoko, I started on CS when I first got my computer, so, and then I, my friend had said, yo, you should try out R6, and I was like, sure, why not? So he bought me the game, and I was just like, I don't know, I was just, because I had played a lot of shooters before in my life, so I was just like naturally good at it, I guess. So, and then, uh, same as, uh, same as pretty much everyone else, I went to the game fair, played a little bit of games, talked to Edmund a bit, talked to some other players, got to know some people, and I uh, joined the team, and it was a lot of fun. So the main reason why I pushed for like a group interview when it comes to R6 is because the entire year you guys have shown that you're all really comfortable with each other. You're all hilarious. You've all got that great chemistry outside of the game. So I want to ask, was, was it like that from the very start with you guys? Or was there kind of like the, the awkward sort of introductory phases with each other? Uh, <laughs> it was kind of just fun. It was kind of like, yeah, yeah right from the beginning. Like, I, I was in there late, but... As soon as I got in, I met everyone, and it was like, we were all just friends right off the bat. I, th I think it started with the competitiveness. Like, I started calling Stulen garbage, and Stulen started calling me garbage, and it kind of <laughs> continued from there. And then F80 just started getting weird around us, and <laughs> it kind of continued for us. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Yo, I left the rice cooker on. Be right back. <laughs> it didn't actually. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to take this time really quickly. So, Edmund just came in. So, Edmund, would you like to give, like, a quick introduction to yourself and your roles in the team? Can I go to my computer first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do it for him. I'll do it for him. Hi, my name is Edmund. Uh, I like to take naps. I like to be late. I don't really know when the scrim times are, but I, <laughs> I pretend like I, <laughs> I do. And, uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, huh. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Edmund, hurry up. Hop on. So, um, would any of you be able to give your comments or insight on just the current state of Collegiate Rainbow Six? You know, what's good, what isn't good? <laughs> Jeez. Well, I feel like there's just some players that are just too good for the league. Nugs? Like, and it's just... It's, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, just it's a guy named Yoko as well, I don't know. No, no. <laughs> and it's like, it's, I don't know if it's just not fun, but it's just like they just kind of dump... There's like some teams that just get dumped on. And it's, I don't know. But it's like, for the most part, is good. And it's fun. It's, fun it's pretty play. competitive. It's fun yeah. to uh, talk around, you know, tell your friends, oh, I faced Florida the other day, for example. Oh, we faced, uh, it's, what would we face? What else did we face? Florida, Connecticut, we Connecticut, Florida, Connecticut yeah. Kentucky. We, we played Miami. Kentucky, Connecticut, Miami, I played uh, a bunch of other teams. It's just Sheridan. fun. To, yeah. It's a lot of fun just to talk about it, Laurier, mm -hmm. and uh, talk with your friends, say that you beat them, you lost to them, stuff like that. I have um I have a friend that goes to Sheridan, and there's a couple times where while you guys were facing Sheridan, I just sent the link to them like, hey, look, it's Hummer versus Sheridan, and, I, and then I forgot what the outcome was. <laughs> we we tied Super the first game, and then we we lost second, I think. Yeah, that was a good match. Though. I remember that good, match. It was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, you guys have probably already seen the pictures. But who would you say is a better cross-dresser, me or Yoko? <laughs> on, I'm, I'm sorry, I, this is very subjective. I, I, I gotta say Yoko. Yeah, I, I gotta say Yoko. <laughs> I'm not a time he's and got, effort I put the... into it. <laughs> he had the mole. He had the mole and everything. Yeah, he had the mole. Good, that was, good. That's the game changer. The beauty mark, bro. <laughs> True. Yeah, so, nah, I, can I respect, already know this gonna be a picture of me uh, up there. <laughs> <laughs> you can respect yeah. the uh, the effort from both sides, but I think definitely Yoko takes gonna the And I have the, the editor throw up the two pictures right here. Both me and Yoko <laughs> looking very pretty. <laughs> Put a little vote ah, in there. Perfect. So uh, draw poll in the description. We're gonna we're gonna move to the whole the whole pointing game. Oh, so no. oh, so God. hopefully okay. we're all on like this all synced up here. So to start off who did the most drinking to celebrate the end of the year? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. This wait, is... who are you pointing to, Stulen? You, you guys are, like, pointing, off, pointing, off, screen. pointing wait, off the screen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different for a person. I think it's different. I'll take a dub. I'll take the dub. It looks okay. like F80's, like, picking his nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is the most likely to flashbang a teammate? Uh, oh, wait, uh, oh, I mean, 
I want to say me. <laughs> That's the one right there for you. <laughs> oh, I want to say me because I've naded that fade like three times. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most likely to get trolled in game? Ah. Uh, hmm. It's, yeah, it's definitely stolen. I mess with him all the time. <laughs> okay, for me, you're pointing. You're pointing to me. Yeah, yeah you're pointing. You're pointing you're the wrong guy. Yeah, stolen. Yeah, yeah. That's stolen. Stolen, bro. Yeah, I'll say okay. stolen. I'll point over, over Yoko, or right. that way, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna move over to some individual questions now. So starting with Yoko, I have to ask, <laughs> how did the cross dressing stream start, and how are you so um... good at applying makeup? <laughs> all right. First of all, I won't lie. Uh, it wasn't me. I didn't put the makeup on. I actually had friends come over and do it for me. <laughs> Um, so I had this thing where I started from day one for streaming. I think we're at day, what, 143 now? I decided, like, let's make day 100, like, a banger, you know? Let's just kind of make it fun. So I, I kind of talked to Edmund about him, like, yo, what should we do? It's like, should we do, like, a like an IRL stream, or should we do something else? And then I was like, yo, what if I cross-dress? Edmund started laughing, and you know, kind of continued the joke, and then just kind of escalated from there. <laughs> That's how that idea, bro. What you mean, bro? I said you should dress up as a girl, man. That was the okay, fine, whatever. It was Edmund's idea. So, yeah. so for Stulen, where are you now, and will we see you in like collegiate R six again, under Humber uh, or a different team? Yeah, so I'd love to go back to Humber. It was a really great experience. I loved it a lot, but. The problem I have with it is that it's too far for me to be living every uh, year. So I've just decided I was going to go to Durham College, and hopefully I can make their R6 team. We'll see. That's good. So for F80 squad, uh, I might be wrong, but you can correct me here. So to my understanding, I think you were one of the new people that came in after I think it was Stulen and Exotic left. No, no, no. no that was me. That was me. Spano oh, that was Spano. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, yes, yes, yes. So I guess I'll just redirect that to Spano. So can you tell yeah. us a bit about, you know, just kind of coming in last minute? Yeah, I was kind of like kind of nervous to like meet everyone and like get to know everyone. And I guess it worked. It worked pretty good. And I guess we're, we're all friends now. We're all like playing together. Yeah. And actually, the, cool. in, the initial question I had for you was when I go through all the clip processing and stuff, you post a lot of highlights where you're getting aces. So would you be able to tell me about how that happens is that would you say that comes down to like your play style or does it just kind of happen i think with with the 1v5 ace i had i, I kind of baited the whole round there and i i think it's just i don't know why yoke was laughing so much but <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> i just I, I don't know i just i just play i like play to get killed i don't, I don't know yeah it just happens yeah i don't know <laughs> yeah baiting and just play to get kills i guess so for Sherlock, would you be able to reflect on your time in the assistant coach position? Um, yeah. Is there a in-depth question to that? There's no, a, it's a it, lot. Just whatever comes to mind. Um, hmm. Well, most of it is just uh, me doing work while Edmund's asleep. Um, Whoa, 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 that's kind of toxic. <laughs> that's kind of toxic. I'm just Arrest, uh, me uh, distracting everyone while Edmund wakes up and gets on his computer or uh, oh, well, uh, <laughs> puts everything on Edmund. Uh, Excuse me. No, um, basically, I just do everything, um, all the side stuff for B team, and then Edmund focuses on his A team, and then we'll like group up together sometimes and so try and get some stuff done. All right, so so Edmund, you came in a little bit late here, so I'm just gonna give some extra time to you. So would you be able to just give an introduction to yourself and your role within the team? Oh, there he is. Oh, there geez. he is. Oh, there he <laughs> is. Yeah, I still got my camera. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm the like like pretty much everything: president, coach, um, team manager for for Humbra Six um been there since day one you know setting up everything for for basically the community for rainbow six at humber and i just i yeah it's been here grinding you know helping build the community and there we go we got two t's we got a team and b team now so which would you be able to tell me about you know how this entire club came together what things were like on day um, one some of the struggles you had to go through 
I like the I I've been I I feel like oh, I'm pretty fucking old actually. <laughs> I've been in the school for a hot minute, like a good like maybe two years now. And like the first year, I was like looking into, um, lo looking for like competitive like just anything, uh, here at Humber, and I didn't see too much of it. Maybe besides the league one, uh, League of Legends, because I, I know it's like really big, right? But Rainbow is like sort of niche and at the time it was still growing but then when it started getting really popular i'm like i should probably do something here because uh i wanted to at least um start get start something collegiate for rainbow six because i saw a lot of it in other schools like in the states and stuff like that um i saw uh during college was doing it too as well and then i was like you know what maybe i should do something for for humber so then i was so then i reached out and then i got redirected to to um to Jeff and then got to talk to Kevin and did all the paperwork and stuff like that and and then basically started the, building the community there. We um want to give it, the P, the the day zero people would probably never be able never see this, but I want to give them a big shout out. David, Jason, and uh, I forgot her name. We had a girl. We had a girl day zero. <laughs> <laughs> what? Not a lot of people didn't know that. We had a girl day zero, dude. Where's this her name? Where's <laughs> Lizzie? <laughs> Shout out to those guys. They they were pretty cool. Uh, they got to see the dojo when it came out and everything. You got to play in it, and it was really pretty exciting. I gotta take this off, actually. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. Um. Very beautiful hair. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to. I thought it looked good, but it didn't. Um. Yeah. Oh my, I look uh, so bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know. It was it was pretty hard finding people because uh, not a lot of not too many people were interested. I feel like the one thing that um, did help the community grow a bit was probably the game fair. And then I remember we had like this whole entire session during the summer uh, for like year zero for um, for Humber Esports. Um, we had like a like town halls every two weeks during the summer and everything and then i uh me and somebody else brought um brought up the idea for like a game fair so similar to like a club fair for for um our uh esports teams and then uh once we did that then we got a lot of traction and stuff and that i think that was during our during our year one and then uh, after that all all these beautiful faces here appeared you know for the game fair and stuff um bes uh, like besides nizzy it came a little bit later but Glad to have him on, so you know, beautiful people here. Spano, not Nizzy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this. <laughs> I mean, Spano, 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 not Nizzy. Spano, yeah. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. My brain kind of tired. I'm just waking up. I just want to point out that like all the the screens change. So I'm on the top right now, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You're on the top okay. right now. I'm I'm in like the dead center. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. I can like, I, I can like point to everyone. Yo, is my lighting bad, guys? No, nah, your lighting is good. Or like, so actually, yo, I can turn on more lights. Actually. That's probably better, yeah. So F80, I, I, I did have specific <laughs> questions for everyone, but I, I was going to ask you about joining in late, but it turns out that I'm really dumb and that wasn't how that happened. So I'm going to have to ask you a more generic question. But what would you say is one of your favorite memories from this team from this past year? Oh god, yo, we do a lot of dumb <laughs> so like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, every moment we hang out, to be honest, like in person, like in CTI or like that yeah, one time the... uh, when we all went to Yoko's car. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Like, Nizzy was in the trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the beautiful moments, you know? When Nizzy bought the whole team monsters, uh, that was a beautiful day. <laughs> yeah. Then we got c***ed by uh, Laurier. But okay, okay we don't talk about that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice. So before I start wrapping this up, uh, does anyone want to give any shout outs or thank yous or have any, you know, kind of last minute stories that they want to share? Uh, so this one time we actually got escorted out of the uh, CTI. By security. <laughs> <laughs> I was just joking. Uh, a couple good moments were definitely just playing around in the, the CTI after classes or between classes. That was a lot of fun. I'd always go there, sit down, and always be someone there. Uh, usually F80, Spano came sometimes, but he was on the was on the opposite end. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, he came like maybe once in a while. Wasn't there as often. Yeah. Sherlock, <laughs> who lives on residence, never came. Um, 
And <laughs> fucking snake. That's what I know. <laughs> poor guy, dude. Poor guy. Him sometimes. Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Just try his best. Yeah. Um, totally I want to throw a shout out to um everyone here. Like I respect all you like ton, especially Edmund. Give me this chance to uh, play and uh, really just explore myself. Like I've learned so much just by playing with everyone here that it, this game is a lot more about playing with a team rather than for yourself. So I want to give a huge thank you to everyone here. Appreciate it, ton. Yeah, and again, it's, it's it's all about the experience. And I remember, like, uh, sort of like a little small rant, but like I remember when after the game fair, we got like this big amount of people that's coming in to like sign up and stuff. I'm like, do I want to just make a only competitive team, like a team, and that's it, just one team, and that's it, or do I want to make a B team, like an academy team, you know, have them, you know, play too competitively, but you know, have the you know get the experience, but be able to enjoy it a lot better because i wanted them to be somewhat more casual but still be competitive right so you know what i like gotta say man maybe it was a good choice <laughs> yeah now b team is 18. b team is 18 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Always 18. Yeah, where's 18 bro 18 yeah, exactly yeah. <laughs> it's all b team here now good well yeah um uh, so, you got you got any any shout outs any just, I don't know, everyone, it's the same stuff. Everyone just great. Yeah. Show, show me out only, okay? Show me out only, okay? <laughs> uh, I just want to say you know, yeah, congratulations to uh, Stulin as well for getting affiliate after a long, long time. <laughs> uh, big, I'm still waiting for those emotes to sub me. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 uh, shout out to Nizzy for always doing the dishes. So I don't have to do them. Uh, but yeah, good job to Stulin. Uh, keep going, I guess. Thank you, my brother. Is this Nizzy who just joined us right now? Yeah. yeah. Nizzy, Kanye. Nizzy, you came in right as we were finishing. So would you like to give a really quick introduction to yourself and just any comments or reflections you have from this past year? Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm out of words. I'm like I'm the I'm the glue of the team. I would say, you know, I'm the glue <laughs> yeah. of the team. you know, I do all the dirty work and stuff. You know, no, you wash the dishes. <laughs> wash the dishes. Or else I'm gonna get my ass beat if I don't. So you know, <laughs> mid game too. But uh, honestly, this year's been pretty fun. So playing with you guys and shit, it was actually enjoyable, and, and I've actually learned a lot from. In Siege it was actually probably amazing, amazing experience. Why not? Because of me, right? Because of me, right? <laughs> uh, nah, Whoa, do you guys hear that? I'm nah, kidding, that? kidding, oh, kidding, 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 kidding. All right, yeah, but honestly, so you, ca sick. you came at the absolute perfect time because you're just in time. Before we leave, I would like to ask if we could all do a synchronized Nyae. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. Wait, I gotta do a countdown, I gotta do a countdown. Wait, where's Yoko going? Where's Yoko going? Yoko's uh, doing something. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's getting the get up. Bye, Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> alright, so okay. it'll be like 3, 2, 1, Nyae, alright? So 3, right. 2, 1, Nyae. Uh, let's go! Let's go! We're, we're officially hoodmans now. <laughs> Two twos equals three, man. Oh my god. Can we get the clips of Nizzy saying, I want to go to the washroom or gotta wash my dishes during match time, please? <laughs> Wait, is there a clip? No way. There's, I'm pretty sure there's clip. Yoko has them. <laughs> no Alright, is, it, is it over with? Yes. Yeah, we oh, did. Okay, okay. sick. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys, well well thank you very much for taking your time to do this. Uh this was really fun. And I hope we can do more in the future. Yep. Wow, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>